Hi everyone, today we'll be going over the MVRVZ score and how you can use this tool to help improve your Bitcoin investing and analysis. This chart, as well as many others, are all freely available on lookintobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it is released. So what is the MVRVZ score? Well, it's taking into account three different values. Number one is the market cap of Bitcoin. So this is denominated in USD. The market cap is the current price of BTC, which right now sits at just above $20,000. And that is multiplying by the circulating supply, which is just above 19 million Bitcoin. Once we've got that value, that is the market cap, as we can see on the chart here, signified by the blue line, we need to calculate the realized cap. And the realized cap is similar to the market cap. It almost looks like a moving average, as you see on the chart here. But that actually takes into account the last price at which each Bitcoin was moved on the BTC network. If you haven't seen our video on realized price, I'd recommend watching that to go over it in a little bit more depth. But it is just averaging out the last transactional value of each BTC and giving us this realized cap value, which you can see in orange here. Once we have the market cap and the realized cap, we actually calculate the standard deviation of the market cap, which is just the volatility we see in Bitcoin's price. So we subtract the realized cap from the market cap and divide by the standard deviation or volatility of Bitcoin's price. Now that sounds very maths heavy, but I show you it's not too complex. So as we can see here, the market cap is actually just beneath 400 billion us dollars but we can actually see that the realized cap sits at just about 430 billion dollars so the market cap is actually beneath the realized cap this doesn't happen too often and when we subtract the realized cap from the market cap in these instances we actually get a negative value and once we then divide that value by the volatility or standard deviation of the market cap we get the mvrvz score so we can see right now we have an MVRV Z score beneath zero, which doesn't come around too often. These opportunities in these green zones here have historically been close to marking the Bitcoin price bottom and have provided strategic investors that have accumulated in these zones outsized returns for the following cycle. On the contrary, when the MVRV Z score increases exponentially when we get market cap far exceeding the realized cap we get the score jumping into this red zone here and this can indicate an overheated potentially overextended market cap an overextended price for bitcoin so if we just look at the previous two cycles we had here we can see during the 2017 nearly into 2018 Bitcoin cycle where we topped out at around $20,000, this MVRVZ score came right to the top of this red zone here. And then following that, when we had a year or two of bear cycle, as we bottomed at just above 3,000, we can actually see the MVRVZ score bottoming here in the green zone with a score of about minus 0.47. So you can see there's a clear correlation between price and the MVRVZ score. But as this is taking into account the realized cap, which some may consider the fair value of BTC, we almost get this oscillator for overbought and oversold areas where strategic investors can use this information to potentially begin locking in some profits, to potentially begin profit taking as we reach and potentially exceed into this red zone here and potentially consider accumulating and stacking sats in this green zone here for the upcoming cycle. So just to summarize, the MVRV Z score looks at the relationship between the current price multiplied by the circulating supply, which is the Bitcoin market cap, and then the average price at which each coin was previously moved on the network, and then again multiplied by the circulating supply, which is the realized price, or in this circumstance, the realized cap. Once we subtract the realized cap from the market cap, we then divide by the deviation of the Bitcoin market cap or the Bitcoin price, which is just representing the volatility. And this just standardizes the data and removes extremes to the upside and the downside.
what we can see from the chart is historically a low MVRVZ score has provided outsized returns for investors who accumulated BTC. And on the flip side, strategic investors who began locking in some profits as we far extended potentially even into the red zone for the MVRVZ score. This was a great time to lock in some profits and potentially cut some of your positions. If you like this video, then please visit lookintobitcoin.com. Bitcoin data analytics can be complicated, but we want to help you understand the key principles so you can optimize your own Bitcoin investing and analysis. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to learn about all our other chats and gain even more Bitcoin insights. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.